when you first place the penny into the jar, it will have been bubbling quite a bit due to the reaction between the hydrochloric acid and the zinc on the inside of the penny. As you can see, I just used an old mason canning jar. Once that reaction slows down, you'll notice two things. One, the bubbling seems to really slow down. My penny is still producing bubbles out of the hole in the side, but at a very slow rate, about one every three seconds or so. You'll also notice that the hydrochloric acid is no longer clear and that it's taken on a rather yellow color. Now because I did my project indoors and I didn't want hydrochloric vapors just being released into the atmosphere in the room I was in, I used a sealed canning jar. I'm going to go ahead and open this jar and uh, I will prepare a, some uh, baking soda to neutralize the acid and some water to rinse everything off. Um, but you need to be careful when opening this. If you, use, if you choose to use a sealed jar like I have, um, a good bit of pressure will have built up in this jar from the uh, gases created by the reaction. So uh, as you open it, make sure uh, you're wearing proper personal protective equipment. Make sure you have some rubber gloves on and uh, you hold it away from your face. You do, definitely do not want to uh, have muriatic acid spray in your face. So I'm going to go ahead and open this, neutralize the acid, and take the penny out, and then we'll take a look. Okay, I've added a, an ample amount of baking soda to this jar with the acid in it, and I've stirred it around pretty thoroughly. It created a pretty interesting exothermic reaction, making the jar exceptionally cold. And now I have an almost paste-like consistency in there. I went a little bit overboard with the baking powder because I wanted to make sure that that acid was thoroughly neutralized. And then I'm just going to go ahead and rinse this out with an ample amount of water. And it should be safe to rin uh, rinse directly down your drain. You just want to make sure you use a lot of water when you uh, rinse it out. And uh, you also want to be careful that you don't send the penny down the drain, obviously, since that's the whole purpose of the experiment. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off and then we'll look at the final product. And here we are with our hollowed out penny. The, uh, the discoloration on the penny is not a result of the process. I just had a discolored penny to start with. And in order to prove this penny is in fact hollow. I mean, I think you can fairly well see that edge. It has a pretty good hole in it. But to show you that it is hollow, I have a needle here. which I can carefully push inside of gotta get dip. Gotta get dip. Gotta get hollowed out gotta get penny. Dip. Gotta get dip. And there you have gotta get dip. 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 a penny. Gotta get dip. 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 Completely hollow. Gotta get Yo, I got that hit to beat the block. You can get that bass on below. I got that rock and roll. 